plain macaroni and cheese, not in my kitchen. Watch this. The actual kind of noodles we're using for this dish are called Zitoni 8A. We actually had to order them on Amazon as they were out in the grocery stores that we usually shop at and we check quite a few. So we'll go ahead and set that aside and move on to our bechamel sauce. So we're going to be making this bechamel sauce using a medium low heat, approximately eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Don't worry about writing this down right now. I'm gonna have the entire recipe, the easy recipe in the description and start by adding a little bit of flour in there. We're getting this into a nice creamy texture. Check that out. We're constantly whisking this and mixing it so it doesn't stick or burn. Those are two very important keys here when making a nice bechamel sauce. When cooking this bechamel sauce recipe, we're using approximately eight cups of milk, but we add it in slowly, little by little, mixing and whisking as often as possible to get a nice creamy texture, take away all of the lumps. There we go, we'll add in a little bit more. I'm testing our bechamel sauce here first. Ugh. I need salt. Ugh. It's very important to test as you go along to make sure you're not oversalting or undersalting. That way you can address any issues right when they present themselves. I'm testing it again with salt. Need a little bit more. If our sauce does not have enough salt, we add a little bit more. If it has too much salt, we add a little bit more milk to dilute it. Third time a charm testing out this sauce right here. Oh. still lacking. You've got to make sure you have enough salt in the vegetable sauce. You're using a lot of milk, butter, and flour in it. If you don't have enough salt, it's going to taste bland. We're going to need salt in there. We don't like bland food, so make sure you season it up properly. This is the final test here of the vegetable sauce. Let, let's, let's hope there's enough salt in it this time. Too much salt. Oh, it's too salty now. Yeah, there's too much salt in it now. Put too much, we put too much salt. That last one put it over the edge. It's too much salt. Yeah. Ma, what's going on, Ma? She put too much salt, I think. So real quick, if you feel like you have too much salt, add a little bit more milk and we can get it down so the salt is not overpowering. All right, now we're gonna get in a dash of pepper. And of course, some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, now you've got some fresh grated Parmesan cheese going in. Yeah, and we can throw a couple of tablespoons there. Mm, that's why I'm using on the, on the salt, because the, the cheese is salty. Well, sure, if we go over on the salt, uh oh, look out. There we go. So this is a nice, creamy vegetable sauce. See how it's not too runny and it is not too thick. That is a beautiful vegetable sauce. Our noodles are hot, ready, strained, and it's almost construction time for this beautiful pasta dish called pastizio. There's our homemade meat sauce. It's always great to have a few jars of this homemade meat sauce on standby for dishes like this. So here we start by putting in a little bit of meat sauce into that dish at the bottom, and then we'll layer in about half of our noodles. Sprinkle in a little bit of Parmesan Maybe cheese. Have something to stick to, not too much. We've also put in approximately one ladle of our bechamel sauce, and now we're going to layer in all of our meat sauce and create a nice thick layer. Do me a favor as well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'm hoping you're gonna give this easy recipe a try. It's great for the entire family. It feeds a lot of people. This is a medium sized dish. This will feed comfortably anywhere from 12 to 15 people. Okay, now our meat sauce is in, so we're gonna go ahead and layer in the remainder of our noodles. And in case you're wondering, messy is great. Don't worry about trying to arrange the noodles here in straight lines or toss them in your dish and make it messy. It will all come together now that we're adding in our bechamel sauce. So as my mom shows here, start in the middle of your dish and work your way towards the sides. Look how creamy this bechamel sauce is. The easy recipe for the bechamel sauce you can find on my channel. Go ahead and do a search for that. 
Next, just take your spatula and create little Make pockets for that bechamel sauce, sauce to drizzle down through. Yeah, It'll bring the entire dish in together. together. It's important that you do this right here before you put in the final cups of your bechamel sauce. Here it comes again, starting in the center and working your way out towards the edges. And then you'll just be able to go ahead and smooth that over. The final step, add some grated Parmesan cheese and adds a delicious flavor to this pasta dish. We don't call this mac and cheese. We call this pasticcio. It's been in the family for years. We make it all the time at big family gatherings. Pop this in the oven for about an hour till that top gets nice and golden brown. This pasta dish is an easy recipe for dinner. If you're looking for a dinner idea, this one could be the dinner of champions. Ideally, you'd like to let this dish cool down for about an hour before serving it and trying to remove it from that tray. So what we're doing here is just scoring the top a little bit. That way it'll allow a little bit of the heat to escape and cool this dish down a little bit faster for us. Allow the bechamel sauce to set, keeping the entire pasta dish together. Finally, dinner is ready. Remove it carefully and it's time to get eating. Boom. There you go, everybody. It's not mac and cheese. It's even better. It elevates your cooking game in your own kitchen. Give this easy recipe a try. And please also remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's got a nice creamy bechamel sauce, flavorful meat sauce, and great thick Italian noodles. Give this easy recipe a try. It's great for the whole family. Working on a budget, cooking on a budget, this will help. And it feeds so many people. You're going to be impressed. We got to give this one a try. Now, normally I'd get in one of those big pieces, but I've got a, a separate one set aside right here already. Go take a look at the layers. Look at the layers here. Noodles, meat sauce, cream sauce, nice and thick. Can you see that? Look up close. You see how everything's holding together? It's exactly what we want. Taste test time is the best time. Get right in. Mm. Oh yeah. Woo! This one's so good, you've got to make it. Look. Look. Noodles, cream sauce, meat sauce. Fantastic. Mmm. I keep on eating this. Mm-hmm.